Hi all, welcome to Sinan Technologies. Today in this video, we are going to discuss on Angular Weekend Workshop. Weekend Workshop means we are going to run a workshop in Saturday and Sunday from morning 9 o'clock to evening 6 o'clock. In this workshop, we will develop one application and that application will cover end to end of Angular. But before going into that workshop, you have to know the basic requirement that you have to know HTML, CSS, basic JavaScript and basic of Angular. If you don't know all these things, please go and join our Angular regular class. Let's go and discuss what we are going to achieve in this workshop. In this workshop, we will create one shopping cart application, shopping cart or e-commerce application that will be looks like exact either Flipkart or Amazon. Means we will create one e-commerce site and that site, that site will be the clone of either Flipkart or Amazon. As you know, the each and every e-commerce site there is a basic functionality right list of products you have to display list of products and you have to filter the product filter the products and after you filter the product you have to add to cart then you have to log in or sign up after that you have to set your address like your billing address or shipping address finally payment and last one is order confirmation means if you go every site for the e-commerce you can see these are the basic concept of all the e-commerce let me go and show you how you can go and create the flipkart clone let me open the flipkart here you can see after I open this flip card, you can able to see that there is a header. In header, we can going to show the logo here and some text box to search the product and login to login and sign up. And there is some cart icon and there is some more icon here. After that, we have a different, different kind of category and here some slider is going on and all this kind of product is displaying, right? And if you go each and every individual product, let me go open this one. You can see the left hand side, we have filters right hand side would displaying the data okay to do this kind of application in angular we have to know the basic concept of angular called component as you know the component is a building blocks which is used to create a application means if you are going to develop this block just example header is a block and this menu is a block and this filter is a block and this content is a block then we require the concept called component means we are going to create a different different block different different section in this site with the help of component clear now you can see the data is displaying here like suppose data is displaying the categories the television and this pricing all this kind of displaying to display data in a UI we have to use the concept of data binding okay using the concept data binding we are going to display the data in ui after that you can see that here you can see the different different type of data is displaying right i mean this is one tv information this is another tv information this is n number of tv information if you will go and bind the data into ui and display in this type of list format you want to do any kind of logical format all this kind of stuff then you have to use the concept called directives means help of a directives you can loop the data you can bind the data you can conditionally show and hide the data you can do all the kinds of operation using the directives okay next you can see in this in this page we have a different different type of amount like in this amount we have a rupee symbol and we have a comma separated all this kind of formatting is displaying right in this case if you want to do any kind of a data transformation or data formatting, you have to use the concept called pipes. Means if you go and use the pipes, you can do all kind of data transformation. Like you can see here, we have different, different kind of currency. Here we have a number. 
all this data you can do in type of con like any type of transformation then you have to use the pipes okay now let me go if you can see here we have a different different kind of products are displaying if i go and click any of the product this product is opening in a new tab and displaying the details right means if you want to go from one page to another if i'm going to navigate from one page to another in angular you have to use the concept called routing means using the routing if you you can navigate from one page to another page right then you can see if i go and click on this login this model is coming and here we have it one text box and another text box for asking the password if i click on login without entering anything you can see it's asking like uh, please enter email id and password all these things right to do all these kind of form manipulation we have to use the concept called reactive form okay means if you want to do any kind of form manipulation in your application then you have to use the concept called reactive forms okay the next you can see we are binding all this data right we have different, different data and based on the filter we are also getting the data this data is stored in different application means these all are the external data means your api you develop that api may be coming from java or it, it may be coming from node.js or it will come from the dotnet core there is a different different type of different different service provider you get in the data means in the angular application if you are going to bind the external data to your application then you have to use the concept called http or to means using the http client we are going to bind the external data using in our angular application to achieve that one we have to learn the concept of service means using the service we will go and call this http one and consume that http in our application okay http call and use clear in service means using the service we can go and call the external source and bind the data into our application okay apart from that we are going to learn the concept called rxjs rxjs means once you uh, using this http service that time the concept will come rxjs that will discuss that time apart from this apart from all this angular concept we are also giving like nowadays you can see the application is giving multilingual multilingual means now suppose this is in english suppose we want to convert this application to hindi or you and convert this application to suppose um, uh, like the, you want to convert this application to chinese or japanese in different different languages then we have to use the concept called multilingual we have to use concept the multilingual these are the things we are going to achieve in this workshop but apart from this we are also giving you add-on course like we are giving you ui library where library means we are going to use the bootstrap you know the bootstrap is a ui library which is going to use to design all this kind of responsive website in this workshop also we are going to cover develop this responsive responsive website apart from that we are also giving another add-on called prime mg prime mg means what you can see if i click on login this nice pop-up is coming right to develop this kind of pop-up and if you can see that if i click on this text box it's displaying this type of for transformation data all this kind of ui right to develop this kind of ui and you have to develop this kind of glow button and uh, all this kind of ui if you have to develop then you have to use the concept of prime mg ui library these these two are the add-on for our uh, this workshop using the bootstrap you will develop the responsive website using the prime mg we are going to develop the control control means you can see the the pop-up model and this text box this button all these things if you have to develop then you have to use the concept of prime mg okay these are the uh, courses these are the things we are going to uh, cover in this workshop but apart from that all this apart from this development finally we will show you how you can deploy how you can deploy your application 
in docker means we are going to convert our application into docker environment and after that we will host this application in heroku after you develop this application in docker finally we will go and deploy this application in heroku okay these are the add-on things we are going to give in this workshop and trust me we are not going to copy paste any code we are going to develop each and every functionality like this filter this uh, display the data and all kind of navigation everything from scratch means you have to learn we have to go to discuss this is the component how we're going to component this is the data binding how you can go to bind the data this is a directive how you can go and use directive in the class uh, all this ui then we are going to cover each and every topic and based on this each and every topic we are going to design that 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 ui means once you start from component we'll first create the component one once we learn the data binding we'll go and create the binding the data once we learn the directives we'll bind the, uh, we are going to loop the data and condition the data once we learn the pipes we'll learn how to transfer the data transform this on the data then if you learn the routing we have to go and create when you, you, you want to click any of the item we're going to open the item in in details view this each and every concept will create one example example means we are going to create one app this same application will go and learn each and every concept and develop the same concept in this ui okay but doing all these things after we learn all these things and later we'll go and learn about this bootstrap how we can apply the responsiveness for application means the same application run in your desktop as well as run in your mobile browser and after that we'll learn this prime mg how you can go and configure this prime mg into your application after you develop all this application we'll finally go and and create your application enable the application in the dockerization means we'll enable the application for docker deployment after docker is completed then we'll go and really deploy this application into heroku okay these are the things we are providing in the weekend workshop okay and let me show you what are the courses we are uh, providing in this uh, weekend classes you can see here <coughs> these are the 15 things we are providing where these are 15 things we are topic we are covering in angular one introduction will give introduction to angular what is angular all the things of angular then we'll discuss about setup how we'll go and install and set up your angular environment and we'll discuss the project structure all these things and basic concept of uh, angular then we have the main thing typescript we are going to discuss about the typescript how the typescript work regarding the class function interface etc then the component part we'll discuss the how the, you are going to develop the component all these things and second one templating like data binding all these things we're going to discuss the next one is um, directives we're going to discuss and loop the data bind the data conditional data all these things then we have learn about pipes as you discuss we will transform the data all these things the services we will go and call the http services in the back end and we have to do all these things and routing and navigation if you are going to click one page to another page how you going to work is this all these things going to discuss on routing and navigation as I told, reactive forms, we are going to use the uh, use the concept of validation and design the form. All these things we are going to develop in reactive form. Apart from that, as I discussed, HTTP client, suppose you want to call the external uh, resource into our application, we are going to call the uh, this HTTP client. RxJS, we are going to combine these HTTP clients and RxJS into our application. After that, as I told, we are going to enable the multi-language, it's called i18 n in this application, how you can create the multiple language in your application. Now, after all these things, we'll go and discuss unit testing because uh, all the application, all the component, whatever you created, that should be testable. For that, we'll go and show you how the unit testing work. Apart completion, is all these things. The final one, we'll do and decoration of our application, means we are going to docker the application. And after completion of all these things, you are able to see our end to end of application means the shopping cart will going to cover from here to from component to all these things. After that, we'll go and deploy this same application into Heroku. Now, apart from that, we are going to share this code in, in the GitHub. You can go and access the GitHub code. Okay. These all are things we are providing in 
the angular weekend classes please come and join these classes and enjoy the real time experience how the actual application work okay thank you see you in classroom